Rwanda ranks amongst the richest countries in bird species in Africa in relation to its size, with over 1,007 species so far recorded. It has a wide range of bird habitats, ranging from snow-capped Renzori Mountains in the west to the semi-arid areas in the northeast, rainforests in the center and west, to the open waters of the numerous lakes. Uganda's pride and appreciation of birds is clearly demonstrated in choosing a unique bird as a national symbol, the crested crane. These beautiful birds, measuring about 105 to 110 centimeters in height, flock in numbers usually about 20 birds, and in exceptional circumstances, up to 300 when not breeding. They eat leaves and seeds of grass, invertebrates and small vertebrates. One is likely to find them near wetlands where they also breed in tall vegetation. As they forage in grasslands, cultivated lands and pastures, their large golden crown is unmistakable. They're also known for their graceful dance. While in flight, they show white coverts black primaries, and chestnut secondary wings. The bulk of Uganda lies in tropical Africa, with the equator crossing the southern part of the country. In the south, Lake Victoria, the second largest freshwater lake in the world, covers a substantial part of Uganda. The freshwater mass has various fringing habitats, ranging from lowland forests and papyrus swamps to open mudflats. Some of these areas form important bird habitats that include large water bird congregations. Egrets, a native African species, is one of the bird types likely to be found flocking around Lake Victoria. The abundance of water creates an excellent environment for the cattle egrets to breed since they like to breed in trees near waterfronts. Here, found in hundreds, these birds, measuring between 48 to 53 centimeters, with a wingspan of about 90 to 96 centimeters, nest in large numbers with nests built from collected dry sticks, weed stems, and reeds, occasionally lined with grass. The cattle egrets usually feed within a radius of 20 kilometers from the roost site. They feed by walking steadily and stabbing at prey, particularly insects, especially grasshoppers, locusts, and beetles. Cattle and other grazing animals provide them with an easy meal as they walk through grass and rouse insects to the surface. The great white egrets are also common around the various Ugandan water bodies. The hammercop is another unique brown water bird found near rivers and streams or even wetlands. It can commonly be seen along the waters of Lake Victoria, especially in the Lutembe Bay area. Its name is derived from the crest, bill and head forming a hammerhead. Its diet includes frogs, fish, or aquatic invertebrates. The Pied Kingfisher, a crested black and white bird, is a unique fishing bird. It can be seen hovering over open water and then diving for the prey. The Malachite Kingfisher, which is slightly shaggy blue-green, can also be seen here, in Lake Mburo National Park. The African Jacana is another bird that can be found feeding in the ponds of Lake Mburo National Park. Ibis are common birds in Uganda. They can be seen in various species. The sacred ibis can be sighted along the shores of Lake Victoria. 
Hadada ibis is another large bird usually seen feeding in grazing fields. Its diet includes earthworms using its long, scimitar-like bill to probe soft soil. It also eats larger insects, spiders, and small lizards. The Hadada ibis measures about 76 centimeters long. It's brown in color with glossy greenish-purple wings, a large black bill with a red stripe on upper mandible, and blackish legs. It has a distinctively loud and recognizable call. The glossy ibis, though not very common, one can get a chance to sight them fishing for food, like here, seen at this drying pond in Lakenboro National Park. Turacos are another type of bird that is found in Uganda's forested areas. Seen here on the fringes of Kibale Forest National Park, the great blue turaco, a tropical African bird, measures up to 75 centimeters and is by far the largest turaco. It is turquoise blue with a large black crest and broad black band at the end of the long tail. Unlike other turacos, which have crimson primaries, the whole wing is blue, which gives its unique beauty. Other turaco types can also be seen especially in the forest of Albertine Rift Valley Mountains in western Uganda, like this black-billed turaco. The crowned hornbill, a slender bird with a bright red bill, likes to perch on trees in woodlands. The marabou stork is mainly seen in the urban areas. Originally just a water bird, it has adapted in search of food and can now be seen around most towns in Uganda. The open-billed stork, seen here in the marshes at the edge of Kibale National Park, is another common bird in Uganda, often seen in wetlands. It's an all-black, medium-sized bird. The black-headed heron, gray heron, and goliath herons are some of the heron species that are common along the water bodies in Uganda. Weaver birds clearly announce their presence with their noisy calls as they dart about feeding their young ones. Seen here at Bigodi Wetland Sanctuary on the edge of Kivale National Park, building nests in their usual large numbers. The common species here is the black-headed weaver bird, also known as the village weaver bird, due to its characteristic of breeding in colonies alongside human dwellings. Large numbers of weaver birds can also be seen breeding here, near the entrance of Murchison Falls National Park. Bird watching is a growing key tourist attraction in Uganda. Experienced tour guides are now on hand to take one to the important birding areas. The Uganda Wildlife Authority oversees the various national parks and game reserves in the country, where birds both indigenous and migratory can easily breed. Sunbirds wow us with their beauty as they glitter in the tropical African sun. They can be found in many of Uganda's protected parks and other areas that retain their natural biodiversity. The collared sunbird is one that can be easily spotted, as well as the red-chested sunbird. A key sunbird area is Bushara Island, found in Lake Bunyonyi, one of the deepest lakes in Africa. The lake aptly named after small birds, is host to a variety of other small bird species due to the availability of water and trees in which to breed. Mouse birds are seen here, feeding from flame trees. Others are the dusky blue flycatcher, 
and many other small bird species. Queen Elizabeth National Park is one of the oldest parks in Uganda, which was gazetted in the 1950s in western Uganda. It's a key bird-watching area and is famous for its large bird congregations. Great cormorants are some of the key attractions here. Though these birds can also be seen on the shores of Lake Victoria, the numbers here are the biggest seen so far anywhere in Uganda. The adult bird is a glossy black with a white throat and breast and a bright yellow patch at the base of the bill. They feed on fish and like to perch on rocks and trees to dry their wings. The yellow frontal shield, the saddle. The legs and feet are black frogs and crabs, but it also feeds on young birds and other land vertebrates. The long crested falls national park, as it usually does on trees, waiting to swoop and pounce on rodents. The shoebill, a species related to the storks, derives its name from its massive shoe-shaped bill. At 1.2 meters tall, the adult is mainly gray, while the juveniles are browner. It's now a rare bird which can be seen near large swamps and waters, as seen here in Murchison Falls National Park. Its diet includes lungfish and similar fish. The gray hornbills with their long gray tails are usually seen in pairs or in groups. They're common residents in woodlands and bushes. Here, they were located in Murchison Falls National Park. The palm nut vultures are boldly marked black and white with large black patches in the wings while juveniles are all brown. They gain color when they get older. The snake bird or the African darter often swims with only the neck above the water. It differs in appearance from other darters being most recognizable by its thin white lateral neck stripe against a rufous background color. An 80 centimeter tall cormorant like species with a very long neck. They occur in both saline and fresh water, especially near mangroves. In Uganda, snake birds can be seen as one takes a launch ride to the bottom of the magnificent Murchison Falls. Rappel's long-tailed starling and splendid starling are colorful birds that can be seen in Murchison Falls and Lake Mburo National Parks. The Bwindi Impenetrable National Park, one of the thickest natural rainforests to the border with Congo, offers another opportunity for bird watching. The Ruhija area offers an opportunity to watch 15 to 16 centimeter African golden breasted bunting, usually found on the ground. The marvelous birds of the windy impenetrable forest. Thank you.
birdwatching is gaining popularity in Uganda. Accommodation for bird watchers is being set up in key birding areas, like here in Windy Impenetrable National Park. <laughs> 